Hiya folks, Sandro here, and today we're going to be talking about something uh, kind of silly. Um, for unknown reasons, somebody, somebody in a business suit somewhere said, Hey, you know what this world needs? A Daria spinoff. <laughs> no. No, uh, look, Daria, I used to, I, it was on back in the day. I watched it. It was so boring that literally I would change the channel to anything else after like five minutes. Like, I don't know. Is there, is there a Daria fan in existence? <laughs> like who in the hell wants more Daria? You know? And, and hey, oh, oh, hold on. It's a spinoff. It, it, I forgot to mention. It's a spinoff. Uh, hold on. We're, we're going to read about it, but it's a spinoff featuring uh, the black character... I think it's that one. Wait, hold on. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. There. It's this chick right here. What's her name? Uh, starring Tracy. Starring Tracy? No. Oh, Jody. Jody. So it's going to be called Jody. So let's uh, let's get into this article. And um, it, like I said, if you want to know my thoughts on Daria, look at this picture. <laughs> Look at this actual picture and tell me if Daria makes you want to watch it. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I'll zoom in. Do we have a zoom here? Hold on. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> there, look at Daria's face. That's basically uh, my thoughts on uh, making a spinoff of Daria. Good lord. So uh, let's put that back to normal. There we go. Uh, yeah, so let, let's jump right into here. Uh, so this is on ScreenRant.com. MTV's Daria spinoff moving forward at Comedy Central. <laughs> Comedy Central picks up the spinoff to MTV's animated series Daria, starring Tracy Elliot Ellis Ross, who will voice the title character Jody. Okay. Oh, this uh, this article was by Bethany Guerrero, seventeen hours ago. So. Uh, G what's this what's today june june 22nd all right so there uh let's keep going comedy central officially lands animated sitcom jody a spin-off of mtv's daria the satire of high school life as seen through the eyes of a uh, misanthropic smart daria what the hell who uses that word come on miss what is that misanthropic good god Misanthropic Smart Daria was one of the MTV's most popular shows during the duration from 1997 to 2003. So uh, I don't know where the hell that fan base is coming from. Anytime I ever talk to anyone about Daria and the rare offshoot thing, like people, <laughs> I feel like uh, people compare it to that show Ugly Betty. It's just, uh, uh uh, it just it, it depresses me. Just l look at that. <laughs> look at Daria's face. Like that just depresses me. I, I don't want to watch more Daria. Uh, oh my god. Okay, let's keep going. Um, Daria's good friend Jody Landon was a fan favorite. Again, does the show actually have fans? <laughs> does Daria like raise your actual hand if you are a Daria fan? <laughs> Oh my god. I, I feel like this one, this show, will get cancelled before it reaches like two seasons. Or maybe maybe three. If even. Like who, I don't know man, who's going to be watching this? But, uh, holy crap. Okay. So we're going to go, uh, Daria's good friend Jody Landon was a fan favorite of the series and resonated with viewers as she was one of the few black students seen at Daria's high school. Uh, so, I mean, Black Lives Matter is really big right now. Um, it could be why they're going in on this, but, uh, I don't know. I, like, see, here's the problem. Why not just create a new character? Why not just make a new show? You know, why, why do we need Jody? Why not just make, I, I feel like this is a huge risk because now there's, was Daria fans, right? There's Daria fans. If and if those fans don't get the expectations out of the show, they're just gonna abandon it. But if it was a brand new show, you know, I, I feel like there, there's a, there's a more like sticking point where people are gonna be like, 
hey, give it a chance. This is like new. This is fresh. This is interesting. Um, yeah. So I I don't know, man. Dar a Daria spinoff. Uh, risky business here. Uh, okay. Now fans of Jody have an opportunity to see the character in the next chapter of her life. So what happened? She graduated from school and then it's going to be her like college years or what are we doing? Let's find out. Uh, per deadline, Jody will take Jody will take the center in her own spin-off series titled Jody and be voiced by Tracy Ellis Ross, best known for her role in Girlfriends. I've never seen or heard of that show, so let's just keep going. I'm not familiar with uh, this, uh, what was her name, Tracy Elias Ross? I'm not familiar with her. Ross gained mainstream success for her Emmy-winning performance as Rainbow Johnson in Black-ish. Report, I've never, again, never heard of that. Uh, reportedly, the series Jody will follow the titular character as she transitions into the workplace in her first Post call it. Oh, there we go. I I predicted it. <laughs> I literally predicted it before I even read the article. Okay, so there she go. Oh no, so it's her. Oh no no. So oh, I I was wrong. I was wrong. She so it's it's about her job after college after. So um, remaining in the same satirical vein um, as Daria. Wait, was it in call? Wait, workplace in her first post post college is after, like post game stuff you do after the game. yeah yeah so this is this takes place after daria uh grad uh so i guess they would be after college and she's going to be working does it say what she works as um remaining in the same satirical vein as daria jody will put a spotlight on workplace culture uh social media dependency and struggles of gen z that sounds awful <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's gonna work play okay hold on keyword keyword let's highlight that <sighs> workplace culture let me guess <laughs> there's gonna be a bunch of white men oh my god it's gonna be some shit like that where like some men are gonna be harassing her and then they get the men out of the workplace or i don't know they'll probably touch on like racist viewpoints and whatever it's gonna uh, this feels sjw already it's gonna it's gonna put a spotlight on workplace culture let me guess uh there's gonna be an episode where somebody doesn't use the right pronoun and then gets fired I, I i'm not liking the sound of this series this this isn't uh oh boy i don't know man i don't know <laughs> so it's also gonna focus on social media dependency let's hope uh Let's hope they don't go too far in there. Let's, you know, we seen the Powerpuff Girls 2016. They had like bubbles twerking and no, the Powerpuff Girls were twerking and bubbles was saying like, no me gusta or whatever the freaking. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, this is, this is, and the struggles of Gen Z. No. Oh God. Awful. Okay. So, um, Helmed by Grace Edwards, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and MTV Studios, Jody is slated to be paired with Comedy Central South Park. Uh, so, wait, paired? That means it's like after South Park or what? To be paired with Comedy Central South Park. As of this writing, Comedy Central hasn't announced a premiere date for Jody. So, what does that mean? Slated to be paired with Comedy Central South Park. Hey, something tall. Hey, this won't get anywhere near the views of South Park. This this is no South Park. <laughs> this is going down real quick. I, I I'm I'm calling it now. I'm calling. This is not sounding so good. This is uh, one of those you go woke, you go broke types of things. Some, something tells me the minute I saw workplace culture. Oh Jesus! Let's highlight that again there. The minute I see this, where it's putting a spotlight on workplace culture, you just know it's going to be awful. Just some SJW hoo-ha. Oh, boy. So, uh, let's keep going. Fresh off the success of The High Note, Ross's list of credits will now include being the lead in the first adult animated sitcom to center around an African-American female in 20, 20 years? Really? 20 years. Black female character in a cartoon. Uh... What do we have? Fillmore. 
Cleveland, the Cleveland show. Female black hair. Proud family. Yeah, the, they forgot about the Proud family. There's even a reboot of the Proud. Oh, I haven't covered that yet. Maybe I should do that. Or maybe I won't. You guys, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. That's kind of old news. There, there's a Proud family reboot. I, I read about it a while back. Uh, yeah, but the Proud family, though. The Proud family, uh, that had a black female lead, didn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure. Uh, first, first, what was it? First adult animated sitcom to center around an African American female in 20 years. I swear there has to be some out there. There has to be some. Well, it said American. Oh, no. No, no, it didn't. Hold on. It said African American. But yeah, I swear the Proud family. And, uh,. Craig of the Creek. No, that's a black kid. Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, but I, I swear that the, the Proud family's on the way, so this isn't really uh, too groundbreaking. They're trying to, you know, I feel like they're trying to push that whole, you know, first to center around African American female in twenty years. All right, we'll get we'll give it to them. We'll give it to them. But uh, I swear the Proud family. Uh, it, it couldn't have been twenty years ago. The Proud family was it. Maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You, uh, Whatever. Let's finish up here. Dario was an animated series that gave a voice to a generation. It did it, though? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, who enjoyed... You guys got... Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of Daria, for the love of God. Oh, my Lord. Given that it has been almost two decades since the sarcastic banter, it is ideal timing on Camp... Comedy Central's part to expand the Daria franchise. Really? <laughs> Ideal timing, though. Uh -uh. Black Lives Matter. It's like, but was the show in? Here's the question: Was the show coming before all that went down, or was this a new thing? I, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I guess it's probably newer. Yeah, but. Um, yeah, most fans would agree that Jody has been a character deserving of the spotlight in her own series for quite some time. I don't know. <laughs> Watch it be... Like, here's the thing. They don't link. Like, where's the link to the people? Okay, wait, hold on. It says a voice of a new generation. Now I'm curious. Ten dark teen comedies for anyone who's still... God damn, I'm out. <laughs> I am not reading that. Um... But yeah, it says, most fans would agree. Where are those fans? They didn't link to any kind of, uh, you know, fan base or anything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking there was just a bunch of people squealing on Twitter for Daria. I don't know. You know, it's a show about a female. Those, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of crazy types on Twitter looking for the next big female show. Whatever. You know, <laughs> this feels pretty virtue signally. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I don't like Daria. I'm not going to watch a spinoff on Daria. It's so like Daria was this or Daria, whatever, how you pronounce it. So boring. I, I could never get into it. I, I would change the channel and, uh, something tells me anyone who's going to like a lot of people who are going to watch Jody going to tune out after the first few episodes and that's it. Nail in the coffin. So, uh, yeah, that's it folks. So uh, let me know. Talk to me about Daria in the comments section below. Talk to me if you're going to see this Jody show. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks, folks. Uh, Sandra O. Bye.